I want to take this into the Alpha Cam to configure it as a machine for simulation. So we export it. Opens up Alpha Cam, and then you'll see we've got these models. And what we need to do now is define those as different parts of the machine. So we're going to the machine and define machine component. I'm going to call that base. Uh, it doesn't move anywhere, that's static. Okay, you'll see it's come down here and moved it to being a static component within the machine configuration. This is the X. That moves with the tool and it's the X axis only. So that's okay. Then we'll do the Y. Movements. That's okay. This is the Z. And then we're looking at the C axis. And this can rotate about Z. Okay, and then finally we've got the spindle, which I'll just call S. Now that can rotate about Z and X. Continue configuring this. This defines how the part or tool rotates. It's actually the tool that's doing all the rotation on this machine. The part remains static. So we've got that X, Y and Z tick for the tool. On a rotation, it's the tool again. It rotates about X and rotates about Z, which static on the Y. Let's just have a look on the other side of here. We need to define this as our home position. So we're back into machine, machine configuration, set home position, so F8 of here. Also need to define, you'll see, there's an option of define the axis, so I need to define the, the axis of which it's going to rotate about, which is going to be through the centre of here and through the centre of here. So to do that, we create some polylines. I'm going to go about the centre of that, and I'll come maybe X plus another 100. And then the next one, at the centre of this, and we'll come down in Z, that may be minus 200, okay, let's just switch these off, and go back into machine, we can now define the axes, so ask for the X rotation, which is going to be this, and then for the Z, which is here, We'll zoom all on that. Let's just have a look on here. Okay, now I'm going to insert a part. Let's try this one. We'll drop that down on zero, zero, zero. And uh, then we'll go into the simulation and see what happens. Okay. So, we have this axis is tied to the machine, the x-axis is moving along across the back. I think that now is a configured machine. We have to look next at uh, maybe inserting some rails. So we'll just stop that and we'll be looking at the clamps and fixtures, defining those.